Ding Zimo, who failed to debut in the men's group, was unexpectedly reborn. He seemed to have been kissed by a goddess of luck when he returned from his rebirth. One after another, peerless beauties poured in, and Ding Zimo said that taking care of so many goddesses is a huge pressure. Chapter 1 First Encounter with Song Huichiao You are listening at NovelFull.audio In February 2008, on an unknown road in Seoul, South Korea, a young man looked around with confusion in his eyes. How did I come here? Didn't I have a car accident? Is this hell? Ding Zimo looked at the pedestrians coming and going, and it didn't seem like hell. Ding Zimo heard the people around him speaking in Korean and reacted, Is this? This Korea? Ding Zimo took out his phone and flipped through it, February 12, 2008. Am I reborn? At this moment, Ding Zimo raised a question mark. He really wanted to come out and explain to him personally. What exactly is going on? The cold mechanical sound of Ding, welcome to bind the check that I end system echoed in Ding Zimo's mind. Ding Zimo was startled and aroused, like a furry cat, full of vigilance towards the surrounding environment and pedestrians coming and going. But after waiting for a long time, nothing happened around. Ding Zimo's suspended heart relaxed slightly, thinking that he had hallucinations due to being too nervous. Little did he know that just as Ding Zimo relaxed, his voice came to his mind again. Welcome the host to bind the check that I end system, check in regularly, and there will be different rewards. Ding Zimo thought he had encountered a supernatural event and was about to lift his foot to leave the place of this evil sect when suddenly a tribute panel appeared in front of him. Name Ding Zimo H. 18 Height 183 Appearance 83 Force 9. What is this? How did it appear in front of me? Ding Zimo put away his running foot and looked at the value in the attribute bar, realizing that it was completely consistent with his own situation. Calm down, Ding Zimo discovered a fact that he seemed to have been reborn and had a check that IN system nearby. Ding Zimo spent a full half hour smoking more than half a box of cigarettes before slowly accepting the fact that it was not a dream. The reason why Ding Zimo appeared in South Korea during the Chinese New Year is because he had a dream of becoming a celebrity since childhood, which he never had the chance to achieve. But reality is often full of uncertainty. Last November, Ding Zimo went on a trip with his family and happened to encounter a talent scout from SM Company. He was impressed by Ding Zimo's appearance and temperament at first glance. After initial distrust, he was pleasantly surprised that his dream came true after being confirmed as a talent scout. In just one day, Ding Zimo's heart rate was much higher than any other time. After signing a preliminary agreement with SM Star Scout, Ding Zimo flew to South Korea with his father's company. It was not until Ding Zimo's life in Seoul got back on track that his father, Lao Ding, returned to China. Dreams are beautiful, but reality is cruel. Ding Zimo, who came to Korea as a trainee, did not show exceptional talent in dance and singing. Compared to other trainees at the same time, Ding Zimo's talent in singing and dancing is not too high. Before his rebirth, Ding Zimo did not receive much praise from SM due to his lack of talent. Eventually, after his three-year contract expired, he returned to China alone. He worked as a trainee in South Korea for three years, but after returning to his home country, he didn't have much opportunity and eventually withdrew from the entertainment industry. Due to his unwavering commitment to his dream of becoming a celebrity, he never got married after his thirties. However, after a gathering, he was reborn due to a drunk driving accident. Before his rebirth, Ding Zimo rarely read novels, but he also had some understanding of systematic literature. For the check that I end system, apart from his initial fear, he now only had joy and uncontrollable excitement. He has been reborn, and with the blessing of the check that I end system, his life will never be as chaotic as before. Ding Zimo walked aimlessly, pondering the path ahead in his heart. He had memories from the future and added bonuses to his check that I end system. 
Should he continue to fulfill his dream of becoming a celebrity, or choose to become a millionaire and live a peaceful life? Ding Zimo walked aimlessly, not even realizing that he was heading towards the Han River. As the main river on the Korean peninsula, the Han River flows through multiple economically developed regions of South Korea. Currently, the most developed Gangnam district in Seoul, South Korea, is located next to the Han River. The Korean Spring Festival is on the same day as in China. At this time, the Spring Festival has just passed and the weather is still relatively cold. There are not many pedestrians on the banks of the Han River. Due to Ding Zimo's trance while walking, he walked towards the Han River without realizing it. Not far from Ding Zimo, a sweet-looking woman with long hair draped over her shoulders and a tall figure saw this scene, thinking that Ding Zimo had been hurt and couldn't bear to think about it. Seeing this scene, she rushed over without thinking and pulled Ding Zimo back. As a result, her pull was too sudden, and Ding Zimo was taken down by her unprepared. Ding Zimo regained his senses and didn't know what had happened. The woman, who was pressed under Ding Zimo's body, did not immediately make Ding Zimo stand up when she saw him come to his senses. Instead, she advised Ding Zimo not to end his young life just because he couldn't bear it. Although the woman speaks Korean, due to Ding Zimo being a trainee in Korea for three years before his death, he can not only understand Korean, but also write some simple conversations. When Ding Zimo heard the woman say that he couldn't bear to jump into the river due to emotional injury, he was very speechless. Originally, he wanted to refute, but seeing the woman's appearance, he instantly felt a feeling of being electrocuted. It turns out that due to excessive movements just now, the mask carried by the woman has fallen to the ground at some point. Can you get up now? The beautiful woman was quite embarrassed by Ding Zimo. Although she was used to seeing all kinds of handsome guys in the entertainment industry, Ding Zimo's youthful and sunny appearance still attracted her. Ding Zimo saw the woman under his weight and recognized her as Song Hai Kyo, the national goddess who had become popular throughout South Korea and the country before her rebirth. In her past life, she was also one of her favorite actresses. When she heard that she was marrying another celebrity surnamed Song, Ding Zimo scolded the other male celebrity surnamed Song, not because he couldn't match Song Hui Chiao, but because the man he married was not Ding Zimo. I never expected that he would return from his rebirth. Not only did he have the system, but he also had such good luck. He just walked around the Han River and met his former goddess. At this moment, he didn't want to get up, so that he could have one more minute of contact with the goddess. However, in order not to leave a bad impression on the goddess, Ding Zimo stood up very gentlemanly and extended his hand to the goddess, trying to pull her up. Song Hui Chiao saw Ding Zimo's outstretched palm, and after a moment of silence, she placed her hand in Ding Zimo's palm. Men are lecherous, and women are equally lecherous. Faced with Ding Zimo's outstretched hand, Song Hui Chiao couldn't find a reason to refuse. Chapter 2 Hello my name is Song Hui Chiao. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. With Song Hui Chiao's tacit approval, Ding Zimo pulled her up. The gentle touch in the palm of his hand made Ding Zimo forget to let go. He was too greedy for the warmth in his hand. You. You can let go. Song Hui Chiao was originally a graceful girl, but today, for some reason, she was left at a loss by a boy so much younger than herself. Upon hearing Song Hai Kyo's voice, Ding Zimo immediately realized something was wrong and quickly let go of his hand. However, he still felt regretful in his heart as it was the goddess's hand. Everything about Ding Zimo was seen by Song Hui Chiao, and she was secretly proud of her charm, with a hint of joy in her heart. What's wrong with me? How could I feel this way? Would I fall in love at first sight with a child I just met? Song Hui Chiao was puzzled by the excitement in her heart. Ding Zimo saw Song Hui Chiao in a daze, it was so beautiful. This should be the most beautiful scenery Ding Zimo has seen in so many years. Just as Song Hui Chiao was stunned and Ding Zimo was staring at her, a cold wind blew and both of them trembled at the same time. 
The two of them looked at each other and then laughed at the same time. What are you laughing at? Both of them asked each other at the same time. You speak first, then said at the same time. Both of them were somewhat embarrassed by this scene, and in the end, Ding Zimo spoke up first, to thank you for saving your life just now, I'll treat you to dinner. The reason why Song Hai Kyo appears here today is because the pressure has been too great lately. Everyone else sees the glamorous side of celebrities, but the immense pressure is making her unable to bear it anymore. South Korea is a country with a high suicide rate, and the suicide rate of Korean actresses is also among the highest in the world. Living in such a country that values seniority is tiring. As a popular actress, Song Hui Chiao would definitely not accept Ding Zimo's invitation if she were usual. However, today, by some strange coincidence, she agreed to have dinner with Ding Zimo. The two of them were located in the economically developed Gangnam district of South Korea, so without much effort, they found a barbecue restaurant. Considering Song Hui Chiao's special identity, Ding Zimo requested a private room. If a female star like Song Hai Kyo is caught eating with a stranger, she will definitely appear on the headlines of tomorrow's Korean news. Although the scandal has little impact on Ding Zimo, a trainee, and can even increase his popularity in South Korea, Ding Zimo does not want to become famous through it. He now has great confidence and soars to the sky. If he has a checked at IN system and has memories stored in his mind for a long time in the future, he cannot live a wonderful life yet. Then he should take the time to wipe his neck, die early, and take care of himself. The two of them sat face to face in the private room. Song Hui Chiao took off her mask and sunglasses, and her stunningly sealed face immediately appeared in front of Ding Zimo. Upon seeing such a beautiful Song Hai Kyo, Ding Zimo swallowed her saliva in frustration, but her voice was a bit loud, even Song Hai Kyo sitting opposite Ding Zimo could hear her. Song Hui Chiao saw Ding Zimo's awkward expression and smiled, covering her mouth like a lady. Ding Zimo was stunned by the charming smile on his face. He pinched his thigh with one hand and reminded himself crazily in his heart. Don't act like a fool who has never seen the world before, but every time he saw Song Hui Chiao's fairy-like handsome face, everything went in the direction that Ding Zimo didn't want to see. Are you Japanese? Song Hui Chiao asked. I am Chinese, not Japanese, Ding Zimo's sense of national pride instantly exploded when she heard Song Hui Chiao think she was Japanese. Even the attractiveness of Song Hui Chiao as a beautiful woman in his eyes decreased. Sorry, I really like Chinese, Song Hui Chiao said to Ding Zimo in her unfamiliar Chinese. Ding Zimo didn't expect that Song Hui Chiao could speak Chinese. Do you still speak Chinese? I only know a little bit, Song Hai Kyo replied in Korean this time. My name is Song Mei Chiao, and you? Song Hui Chiao thought Ding Zimo didn't recognize her and said a fake name. Ding Zimo only found it funny. Didn't she know how famous she was? Upon hearing Song Hui Chiao's introduction, Ding Zimo introduced himself to her in Chinese and said, My name is Dear and I come from Xi'an, China. Upon hearing these words, Song Hui Chiao's face immediately turned red. She not only recognized the meaning of what Ding Zimo had said, but also knew that the name she had just made up had been exposed. Don't think I don't know what you mean in Chinese, Song Hui Chiao said in Chinese word by word. Now it was Ding Zimo's turn to be shocked. Before his rebirth, he had never heard of Song Hui Chiao's Chinese so good. How could it be different from what he had imagined? Shouldn't my own rebirth produce the butterfly effect? Ding Zimo suppressed his shock and said in Korean, following Song Hai Kyo's tone, You don't think I don't know you, do you? You are a popular Korean actress. You. You know why not say it? Song Hui Chiao blushed and said angrily. Sure enough, as long as her appearance is good, even picking her nose is beautiful. In front of Ding Zimo, Song Hui Chiao felt a sense of beauty in every movement, even the smallest one. What are you doing in Korea? How could your Korean be so good? Song Hui Chiao asked her questions. I am a trainee at SM, 
and I just came to Korea last year, Ding Zimo honestly told Song Hai Kyo about his identity. He did not fabricate an identity for the sake of face. Ding Zimo doesn't need to lie about this now. His checked at IN system and past memories are his biggest reliance. He doesn't care about any profession, even if he is a beggar now, he is also a beggar destined to become a wealthy person in the future. Upon hearing Ding Zimo's words, Song Huichiao couldn't help but feel a bit disappointed. In South Korea, there are tens or even millions of trainees each year, and only a very small number of them can successfully debut. Song Hai Kyo's disappointment may be due to the significant difference in their identities. In South Korea, a country with severe seniority discrimination, there is almost no chance for the two to have such a big gap. Song Hui Chiao shook her head secretly in her heart, what's wrong with her? I just met once, and I actually have the idea of being with him. In South Korea, the emotional issues of artists are not their own affairs, but are related to many fans. Often, the exposure of an artist's relationship is accompanied by a large number of fans leaving their fans. Song Haikyo's emotional changes were evident to Ding Zimo, who also knew the situation in South Korea, a twisted country where it was difficult for two people to be together if their identities were too different. Ding Zimo did not explain anything about this. Chapter 3 The Assault from Song Huichiao you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Song Hui Chiao thought for a moment and then felt relieved. It was quite nice to meet a boy who had a good impression on such an occasion. Let's consider it a wonderful encounter after today. Thinking about it this way, Song Hui Chiao's previously low mood also became high. The two of them were eating grilled meat while sharing their own troubles. Whenever she talks about happy things, Song Hui Chiao will also let go of her usual reserved demeanor and burst into laughter with Ding Zimo. She has forgotten how long it has been since she had such a happy smile. Every day is an endless series of scenes and announcements, and sometimes she also wants to let go of herself, but only thinking that the sky-high penalty does not allow her to stop. Being beautiful is an advantage in the entertainment industry, but it is also a burden. Whenever those men with ulterior motives look at her with strange eyes, she feels disgusted. However, in this country of Korea, even if she is completely unhappy, she has to greet her with a smile. Perhaps thinking of these unpleasant past experiences, Song Hui Chiao surprisingly asked the waiter to serve two bottles of red wine. Ding Zimo didn't originally want to drink, but he couldn't resist Song Hui Chiao. He could only sacrifice his life to accompany the gentleman. After the waiter brought the wine up, Ding Zimo was about to pour it, but was stopped by Song Hui Chiao. This small wine glass is not suitable for drinking red wine. Give me two larger glasses, Song Hui Chiao said to the waiter. This famous barbecue restaurant in Seoul often has various celebrities and even politicians eating, so even if the waiter recognizes Song Hai Kyo, she doesn't have any unnecessary expressions, just like serving ordinary customers. In a moment, the waiter brought in two larger tall glasses. Song Hui Chiao took the wine glass and opened it, pouring more than half of the red wine into the glass with a thud. He handed one of the cups to Ding Zimo and said, Cheers to our reunion. Ding Zimo has never drank red wine before, whether before his rebirth or in China, he often drank red wine but he has never encountered this way of drinking. Even though I can handle such a large glass, I probably have to lie down if I drink it. Ding Zimo asked Song Hui Chiao in an uncertain tone, Are you sure you want to drink from this cup? Oh, you can't handle me as a girl, can you? Then I'll do it first, said Song Hui Chiao, and she drank it all in one go. Ding Zimo was a bit dumbfounded. Song Hui Chiao, this beautiful woman, has such a good tolerance for alcohol. She has done it all for a girl, so Ding Zimo can only grit his teeth and finish it. After finishing a glass, Ding Zimo had no extra reaction except for bloating, but he knew that the red wine had a strong aftertaste and probably would lie down in a while. It's a bit awkward. Eating with a beautiful woman like Song Hui Chiao and making a fool of herself, Ding Zimo couldn't imagine what she would look like after getting drunk. After finishing a glass of wine, 
Ding Zimo and Song Huiqiao had a few more drinks until Ding Zimo couldn't drink anymore. I can't drink anymore, Sister Song, please let go, Ding Zimo said with his remaining rationality. He realized that he really couldn't drink Song Huiqiao. Since he couldn't drink, it was better to give up early. Upon hearing Ding Zimo's words, Song Huiqiao also tidied up and prepared to go back. After leaving the restaurant, a time taxi was taken on the roadside, and the two of them sat in the back seat. Ding Zimo's drunkenness hit him, and he took the opportunity to lie down. Wake up, wake up, Song Huiqiao pushed Ding Zimo, who was lying in her arms. Ding Zimo was sleeping soundly at this moment, and no matter how Song Huiqiao pushed and pushed, he did not wake up. The timing car stopped outside a high dot end residential area, which is a secret estate of Song Hai Kyo in Seoul. Apart from her, not even her agent knows. She looked at Ding Zimo lying on top of her, feeling a bit confused and unsure of how to arrange for this well liked boy. Song Huiqiao looked at Ding Zimo's face, which had turned red from drinking. She gritted her teeth and placed Ding Zimo on her shoulder before walking towards the room. I should have owed you in my previous life, otherwise how could I have pulled you home the first time we met? Using all her strength, Song Huiqiao finally helped Ding Zimo into her villa. Placing Ding Zimo on the sofa in the living room, Song Huiqiao took a shower, washed away the alcohol smell, and came out to see Ding Zimo curled up on the sofa. In the end, Song Huiqiao still couldn't hold her conscience, so she carried Ding Zimo to the guest room. At this moment, Song Huiqiao, who had just taken a shower, had already dropped her towel wrapped around her body due to her vigorous movements. When she placed Ding Zimo on the bed, she felt a slight increase in alcohol consumption due to drinking and intense exercise. Song Huiqiao looked at Ding Zimo lying in bed, sunny and handsome, with a flushed face and an indescribable feeling. She had never encountered such a situation before, and the two little people in her heart were about to argue. The ultimately irrational voice prompted Song Huiqiao to make up her mind, kiss him secretly, he shouldn't wake up so quickly, right? I don't know if it's the effect of alcohol or the strong secretion of hormones, so Song Huiqiao slowly kissed Ding Zimo's face. Ding Zimo had already woken up when Song Huiqiao placed him on the sofa, and he wanted to see how Song Huiqiao arranged himself. As expected, Song Haikyo walked out of the bathroom, wrapped in a towel, and carried him into the guest room. During this time, the towel fell off, and he also saw Song Haikyo's milky white body. What Ding Zimo didn't expect was that Song Huiqiao, who usually doesn't show off her beauty, actually has a devilish figure, with a protruding front and a sloping back, which is extremely charming. Ding Zimo was already satisfied with seeing the other side of Song Huiqiao, but what surprised him was that there would be even more popular programs coming up next. Song Haikyo actually took the initiative to kiss him. It should be noted that at this time, Song Hai Kyo is at the peak of her career, and her figure and appearance are also at the top of a woman's class. She is an inviolable goddess in the eyes of many Korean fans. If others were to know that Song Hai Kyo secretly kissed herself, he would probably be beaten to death by her fans while walking on the street. When Song Hui Chiao closed her eyes and kissed, Ding Zimo quietly aimed his mouth at Song Hui Chiao's mouth. Song Huiqiao was supposed to kiss her face, but when she realized it was her lips, she quickly opened her eyes and saw Ding Zimo's teasing gaze. In an instant, Song Huiqiao wanted to hide inside the crack in the wall. It was really embarrassing. She stole a kiss and was discovered by someone else. But at this moment, Song Huiqiao didn't have time to be shy because something had invaded her mouth. She widened her eyes, her eyes full of disbelief. How could he dare? Ding Zimo held the idea of not taking advantage of a bastard, but when Song Huiqiao kissed him, he changed his strategy, turning what was originally meant to be a kiss to the face into a lip. Most importantly, Ding Zimo was not satisfied and dared to stick out his tongue. Ding Zimo is currently only 18 years old at best, and he is a childlike chicken who has never even talked about love. However, he was not like him in his previous life. 
When his dreams were shattered, he lingered in various nightclubs. Chapter 4 Sweet Lips You are listening at NovelFull.audio Song Hui Chiao is 26 years old this year and has not been in a relationship yet due to her involvement in the entertainment industry. At this moment, she was slightly teased by Ding Zimo and instantly lost in his tenderness. Ding Zimo saw that Song Hui Chiao was so sensitive, and he was about to go further when Song Hui Chiao held down his mischievous hands. Don't be like this, okay? Song Hui Chiao said softly with watery eyes. Ding Zimo realized that if he had forced himself to bow today, he was highly likely to have the goddess in his heart. But he gave up. He didn't want to force Song Hui Chiao. He wanted to wait until he had enough courage and ability to give her the life she wanted before talking about all of this. Feeling Ding Zimo's enthusiasm fading, Song Hui Chiao thought Ding Zimo was unhappy. I'm a bit scared, don't be angry, Song Hui Chiao said softly and weakly, completely devoid of the boldness of drinking tonight. Ding Zimo said tenderly, I'm not angry. I haven't had time to love you yet. How could I be angry with you? Song Hui Chiao is not unaware of her beauty. She is well aware of the temptation of her body towards men. Ding Zimo can respect herself, and his figure becomes increasingly tall in her heart. Song Hui Chiao felt that the man in front of her, who was several years younger than her, could be relied on and was worth entrusting herself with. At this point, she began to re-examine Ding Zimo and found that besides being handsome, Ding Zimo now also had a sense of responsibility and respect. The two of them stayed awkwardly in the guest room. As Song Hui Chiao was not dressed, even though she covered her body with a blanket, Ding Zimo couldn't help but fantasize, feeling like a cat fishing in her heart. To avoid embarrassment, Ding Zimo plans to return to his rented room. I'll go back first, we'll contact later, Ding Zimo said to Song Hui Chiao. Song Hui Chiao felt embarrassed when she saw Ding Zimo preparing to go out, but now that it was dark and cold outside, she couldn't trust Ding Zimo to go back alone. After thinking for a moment, she chose to retain Ding Zimo. It's so late now, why don't you stay? Hmm. Ding Zimo gave Song Hui Chiao a meaningful glance. Don't think recklessly, I just don't want you to run back and forth in such a cold day. Ding Zimo heard Song Hui Chiao's words, There is no silver in this place, 300 tails. He walked to the bed and began to take off his coat. You. You, what do you want to do? You just promised me not to force me, Song Hui Chiao wrapped herself in a blanket and huddled her body in the corner. Ding Zimo did not respond and continued to take off his clothes until only his underwear was left before he stopped taking off. Ding Zimo's body does not have as many muscles as those used for exercise, but it is not too thin. He does not have eight abdominal muscles, but has four sharp and angular abdominal muscles. Song Hui Chiao looked at Ding Zimo naked in her upper body, feeling both shy and curious. A little person appeared in her mind again, asking her to try touching it. Ding Zimo took off his clothes, lifted the blanket, and got on the bed. Although the bed in the guest room was large enough, Ding Zimo's toes still touched Song Hui Chiao's body, leaving him feeling smooth and warm. At the moment Song Hui Chiao touched Ding Zimo's body, she shuddered all over. Although she felt embarrassed, she was somewhat obsessed with Ding Zimo's body temperature. You promised me not to force me, Song Hui Chiao emphasized again. I just want to sleep with my beloved girl, Ding Zimo said as he arrived at Song Hui Chiao's house, his courage grew stronger. When Song Hui Chiao heard Ding Zimo say this, her heart was also filled with joy. There was no one else here besides them. He said he wanted to hold his beloved girl, which showed that Ding Zimo also liked her. She felt a little excited in her heart. The happiest thing in life is that the person she likes also likes you. Ding Zimo pulled Song Hui Chiao, who was hiding in the corner, into his arms, caressing her warm skin and smelling her fragrance. Ding Zimo was extremely satisfied, and this kind of life was worthy of his lifelong rejuvenation.
Gradually, Song Huiqiao also quieted down from her initial resistance. She was actually very fond of Ding Zimo's embrace, but girls are naturally thin-skinned, and it's not easy for her to pull down her face. In this way, Ding Zimo held the naked Song Huiqiao and told her about his experiences while introducing life in China. Only by diverting attention in this way can one feel better. In fact, not only Ding Zimo, but Song Huiqiao also encountered the same problem. She felt that holding her own Ding Zimo made her skin hotter, her body changed, and her breathing became more rapid. Song Huiqiao has passed the age of not knowing anything. She is 26 years old this year, and although she has not experienced the love between men and women, she is also aware of the ways. She knew what the physical reaction of Ding Zimo meant at this moment, and she had already figured it out. Her heart loved the boy who gave her a different feeling when we first met, and she was also prepared to dedicate herself. Song Huiqiao is indeed very tempting. Ding Zimo really wants to get her, but it's not today. He tried hard not to think about those things. When Song Huiqiao returned, she had already taken a shower and removed her makeup, but her lips were still rosy. Ding Zimo couldn't help but bow down and kiss Song Huiqiao's lips. The time Song Huiqiao stole the kiss, the two also kissed, but before he could savor it, he was pushed away by Song Huiqiao. This time, it was different as he had plenty of time to taste it. Ding Zimo felt unreal. The day before, he was still a loser at a nightclub. When he woke up, he not only had memories of the future and a check that I end system, but also a sweetness he had never had in his previous life. The goddess, who could only be seen in front of the TV in his previous life, was now lying naked beside him, and he could kiss her lips freely. I don't know whether Song Huiqiao's lipstick is of good quality, or whether it is the original taste of her lips. When kissing, he tasted a trace of sweetness, like mountain spring water, sweet but not greasy. Ha! Ha! Ding Zimo was immersed in the taste of Song Huiqiao's lips. Song Huiqiao, who had forgotten to kiss him, was almost suffocating until she lightly bit his tongue, allowing Song Huiqiao to breathe fresh air. Do you? Do you want me to suffocate? It's just that your lips taste too sweet, Ding Zimo said, holding Song Huiqiao's face with both hands. Upon hearing these words, Song Huiqiao knew that it was Ding Zimo who made her happy, but she still enjoyed it. Today is the happiest day for her. She met Ding Zimo and her life became different. For the first time, she had the idea of completely withdrawing from the entertainment industry. Only those who live in the entertainment industry can better understand the cruelty of the industry. Everyone wears a mask to live, especially for beautiful female artists like her who have no reliance, living in the industry is not easy. Chapter 5 System Dad Sending Warmth You are listening at NovelFull.audio At midnight, Ding Zimo, who was sleeping sweetly with Song Huiqiao, was awakened by the mechanical synthesis sound. Ding, congratulations to the host for getting a check that I an opportunity. Upon hearing the sound coming from his mind, Ding Zimo's physical fatigue and emotional dissatisfaction instantly dissipated. Today, after receiving the check that I end system, he had been eagerly anticipating signing in for something he needed. Ding Zimo took a deep breath and calmed his excited heart. He silently recited the blessings of the gods, Buddhas, and ancestors for generations. If it weren't for Song Huiqiao by his side, he might have burned incense, purified himself, and kowtowed nine times. Ding Zimo cleared his mind and silently recited, Check in. Ding, successfully signed in and obtained 60% of SM Entertainment Company's shares. The relevant certificates will be delivered tomorrow. SM Ding Zimo was about to jump with joy. This is SM, a well-known entertainment company in South Korea. Not to mention future generations, it has now launched several well-known Asian groups such as Dong Fang Shinchi, Super Junior, Girls' Generation, Shiny, etc. Carrying a huge surprise, even the reborn Ding Zimo couldn't help but be happy. 
He was excited all night and didn't fall into a deep sleep until around 5 a.m. The next morning, Ding Zimo opened his eyes and found that Song Hui Chiao, who had been lying in his arms yesterday, had long disappeared. He thought that everything that happened yesterday was just a dream. At that moment, Song Hui Chiao walked into the room wearing cool clothes and patted Ding Zimo's shoulder. Get up quickly, I've already prepared breakfast, she said Ding Zimo saw Song Hui Chiao appearing in front of him, and after confirming that everything yesterday was not a dream, he excitedly jumped up and hugged her. Looking at Song Hui Chiao with bright eyes and white teeth in front of him, he couldn't help but kiss her. You. What's on you? It makes me uncomfortable, Song Hui Chiao said, ready to use her jade hands to remove this uncomfortable thing. When Song Hui Chiao touched something warm and hard, she immediately screamed and took her hand away. She already knew what it was. At this moment, Song Hui Chiao was so shy that she dared not look up. She was afraid that she would see Ding Zimo's teasing gaze as soon as she looked up. You. You can let go of me now, Song Hui Chiao said with evasive eyes. What are you doing when I let you go? Don't you like me holding you? Ding Zimo asked. How about getting up quickly and having breakfast? I drank last night and had some kanji to warm my stomach, Song Hui Chiao whispered. Seeing Song Hui Chiao's appearance, Ding Zimo also deeply loved her. Although they still had one final level to pass, both Song Hui Chiao and Ding Zimo had already acknowledged their feelings. Song Hui Chiao usually has a very confident and elegant personality, but at this moment, she is somewhat submissive. If it weren't for Ding Zimo in her heart, she would never have shown such a side. Ding Zimo did not continue to tease Song Hui Chiao, but his clothes were put on by Song Hui Chiao one by one, and he just reached out his hand. Arriving at the restaurant, Song Hui Chiao had already prepared a large table of delicious food, and she should have spent a lot of time. Song Hui Chiao has gone up the hall like this, down to the treasure girl in the kitchen, whoever marries will enjoy their happiness. In his past life, Song Hui Chiao married another male star surnamed Song. Ding Zimo had no choice but to curse a few times that Song had taken his beloved. Such a thing could never happen in this life. He now has the ability to protect Song Hui Chiao. Song Hui Chiao made a table for breakfast, and the two of them ate very sweetly. They fed each other, but fortunately there was no one else next to them. Otherwise, they wouldn't have had breakfast and could have eaten enough dog food. After breakfast, Ding Zimo was about to go wash dishes when he brought the dishes to the kitchen when his phone rang. Ding Zimo took out his phone and saw a strange number. Without even thinking about it, he chose to hang up. As soon as he hung up, the other person called again. Ding Zimo chose to answer this time, but he wanted to hear what the other person was doing. Hello. Who is that? Ding Zimo asked in a more aggressive tone. Hello, Mr. Ding, a passionate female voice came from the other end of the phone. Mr. Ding. Ding Zimo was somewhat surprised. It was the first time someone had called him this way at such a young age. Ding Zimo suppressed the pleasure in his heart and asked, What's up with you? Hello, Mr. Ding, I am Chui Zixian from SM Entertainment Company. We have noticed that you have acquired 60% of the company's shares and are now the largest shareholder of the company. Would it be convenient for you to come to the headquarters? Ding Zimo is a trainee at SM. He has heard of the name Chui Zixian, but has never seen it before. Just like this, a senior SM in the center of power is facing Ding Zimo with a very low posture. Although there is nothing to be seen from her words, there is a hint of flattery in her voice. I can't tolerate Chui Zixian not pleasing me. Ding Zimo is the largest shareholder of SM and has huge power. If we don't flatter Ding Zimo now, we may not have enough time in the future. Ding Zimo thought for a moment and decided to complete the handover as soon as possible to avoid long nightmares. Ding Zimo is planning to go to the company soon and inform the others of his identity. He cannot handle the night trip in Genie. I'll go to the company later, okay, I welcome you to the company, Chui Zixian replied immediately. 
The new boss is visiting the company for the first time, and she must be prepared for everything. Whether she can leave a good impression depends on today. Ding Zimo didn't know Chui Zixian's movements, so he casually chatted a few more words before hanging up the phone. Now he owns 60% of the shares of SM Entertainment Company. He is the sole the final say of the whole company. He is no longer the little trainee before. He needs to get familiar with his new identity as soon as possible. Compared to giants like Samsung, SM can only be considered a small company, but Ding Zimo, who owns 60% equity, has also entered the ranks of billionaires. After breakfast, Song Huiqiao had an activity tonight, so she hurriedly left. Ding Zimo washed the dishes, tidied up, and found that there was nothing wrong. He then left the community and took a timed car to drive towards the headquarters of SM Company. Compared to yesterday, he has a greater sense of identification with his new identity. With 60% SM shares, he has at least a net worth of billions, and the billions in 2008 are still very purchasing power. When Ding Zimo went to SM headquarters, the other shareholders of SM were already about to argue, especially Li Shuman, the founder of the company. He really didn't expect that the company he had worked hard to create would change hands overnight. Many of the shareholders still leaned towards their own side, and for some reason, they all received an irresistible offer at the same time. In the end, the company was acquired by this wealthy and mysterious person. Chapter 6 Inheritors of Mysterious Wealth You are listening at NovelFull.audio At 9 o'clock in the morning, all employees and artists of SM Entertainment received the news that there has been a significant change in the equity of SM Entertainment. A mysterious person named Ding Zimo has obtained 60% of the shares of SM, becoming the company's largest shareholder. The whole company is in a state of panic. Every major change in the company affects many people, and they don't know how this mysterious major shareholder with 60% equity will operate the company. Everyone is worried about their own future. The company has already released many versions of this mysterious figure, one of which has a nose and eyes, and it feels like it's real. There are rumors that this mysterious figure named Ding Zimo is the heir of a top tycoon who is about to enter the entertainment industry. As for Ding Zimo, a trainee with the same name and surname, no one thought of him, and even if he did, he was just a subject of ridicule. After all, the two have the same name and surname. One is the largest shareholder of the company, and the other is just a trainee at the bottom. Their identities cannot be compared, they are completely different. At 10 o'clock, when Ding Zimo arrived at SM headquarters in a timed car, SM founder Li Shuman and many senior executives of the company were already waiting below the office building. Although Li Shuman was very dissatisfied with the change of ownership of the company he created, he had no good way to deal with Ding Zimo, who had absolute control. He could only take a step by step and see how this big boss named Ding Zimo's work style was. Li Shuman led a group of executives to wait left and right, but only waited for Ding Zimo, who was sitting on the timing car. They did not believe that this mysterious person Ding Zimo was just a trainee Ding Zimo, so they did not express any concern about Ding Zimo's arrival. On the contrary, Li Yiming, who was a trainee with Ding Zimo, waved and wanted to call him over. After all, in his opinion, Ding Zimo, who was also a trainee, how could he stand in front of so many company bosses in a dignified manner? Ding Zimo ignored his good friend Li Yiming's suggestion and had already obtained the relevant documents for SM equity before leaving. Ding Zimo didn't care about other people's opinions. He walked straight to Li Shuman and calmly extended his hand, saying, Director Li, meet me. My name is Ding Zimo. Although the senior management of the company did not know Ding Zimo, they did not expect such a low dot key Ding Zimo to be the mysterious acquirer. Li Shuman is truly an elderly person who has been struggling in the business circle for decades. His shock swept through his eyes, and he immediately grabbed Ding Zimo's hand and warmly said, Welcome Mr. Ding to SM for guidance. After chatting for a moment, Li Shuman led Ding Zimo to the company conference room. After the senior executives left, 
there was only a group of grassroots employees who looked at each other. Many of them knew Ding Zimo, but they didn't expect his identity to change so quickly. Yesterday, he was still a low-dot-level trainee, and today he became a major shareholder of the company. In the SM conference room, Li Xiumon cleverly gave up the highest symbol of power to Ding Zimo. Ding Zimo was also polite and sat directly in the front seat. After all the executives quieted down, he said, I won't interfere with how SM operates. What I mainly emphasize is that while maintaining its domestic status in South Korea, SM should strive to develop towards China, Japan, and Southeast Asia. Lee Shuman in the lower left corner heard Ding Zimo say this, and his heart also calmed down. What he was most afraid of was that Ding Zimo would give him a rough command and even directly drive him out of SM. Although Li Xiumon still owns 17% of SM's shares, Ding Zimo has absolute control, and he can easily drive himself out of the company he created. After explaining these things, Ding Zimo went to the office prepared by Li Xiumon for himself. This office is located on the top floor of SM building, with 30% being the lounge and office, and the remaining 70% being some leisure areas. Standing at the top level, one can clearly see the Han River, and Ding Zimo has also risen with a sense of pride. Since he has been reborn, he also wants to embark on a career that cannot be as plain and indifferent as in his previous life. Now he has enough time and capital to take risks, even if he fails, he still has such a big company to support him, and he will never have to worry about food and drink in his lifetime. Ding Zimo strolled around and found that money was indeed a good thing. What he had never dared to crave before was now displayed in front of him. The entire top floor decoration was extremely luxurious, even Song Hui Chiao's villa did not have such decoration. Ding Zimo walked around and took a look, touching here and there. After satisfying his curiosity, he sat down. This is the life of a wealthy person, waking up from a soft bed every day, pulling open the curtains to see the whole picture of Jiangnan district. Ding Zimo was sitting in the office, bored with his phone. At that moment, the phone located in the upper left corner of the office rang, and Ding Zimo answered it. Is there anything else? Hello Mr. Ding, I am Chui Zixin. I have selected a few life secretaries for you, and I will send you their information so that you can choose when you have time. Ding Zimo answered the phone, and Chui Zixin's voice came from the receiver. For Chui Zixian, Ding Zimo is quite optimistic. Not to mention her specific work situation, just these two interactions have given Ding Zimo a comfortable feeling. Ding Zimo opened the computer placed on the table in front of him, and as expected, a document was already placed on his desktop. Ding Zimo opened the file and checked it. There were a total of five people, all female. The youngest was 20 years old, and the oldest was only 28 years old. Ding Zimo checked their information one by one, and the introduction inside was very detailed, and the photos were all plain blue background photos. Everyone has their own unique characteristics, and when it comes to commonality, they are all full of beautiful women, with no one unattractive. In Ding Zimo's opinion, their looks are all above 80 points. Ding Zimo's standards for judging a girl's appearance are quite strict. A peerless beauty like Song Huiqiao can only achieve a score of 90 or above in his standards. A graceful and graceful lady is a good match for a gentleman, and Ding Zimo is no exception. However, he is more eager to find a talented beauty who can at least stand on her own and be worthy of his salary. There is nothing wrong with Ding Zimo's thinking. Chui Zixian arranged a living secretary for him, and she must have a very high salary. Spending so much money, Ding Zimo is definitely not satisfied with finding a vase. For every piece of information, Chui Zixian made thoughtful notes. For example, the first one was a 28-year-old beautiful woman with the style of an imperial sister, named Shui Ziki, who had excellent administrative processing abilities. This little sister named Shui Ziki, Although she has strong abilities, her asking price is quite high. She earns about 50,000 yuan per month, which is equivalent to RMB. 
Her salary of 50,000 yuan in 2008 is still quite high. Chapter 7 Li Xiuxian worried about being hidden. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Shue Ziki has strong administrative skills, no wonder she dares to ask for such a high salary. This may be her confidence. With this ability, even if she is not recognized by Ding Zimo, she can still find a good job without worrying about finding a satisfying job. Although Ding Zimo has strong administrative abilities, he does not need it. He is the big boss of SM and has a large number of people under his command, so there is no need to waste such human resources. Ding Zimo continued to read, and due to Chui Zixian's remarks, it was very convenient for him to browse. In no time, he went through all the information. Overall, everything is quite good, after all, it has already been screened by Chui Zixian, and those who are not qualified have already been screened out. After much thought, Ding Zimo ultimately chose a girl named Li Xiuxian, who is 23 years old and graduated from Seoul University. Although he has just graduated a year ago, Ding Zimo feels quite suitable. The most important thing is that Ding Zimo doesn't have any major matters to deal with, and she only comes to work as a life secretary. To put it more bluntly, she is Ding Zimo's life nanny. After confirming the choice, Ding Zimo called Chui Zixian and explained his choice clearly. In no time, the door to the office was knocked on. Ding Zimo opened it and saw a woman dressed in formal attire, with short hair draped over her shoulders, appearing very capable. She appears to be in her early twenties, although her attire has given her a bit of maturity, the immaturity between her eyebrows cannot be concealed. With a beauty score of over 80 points and a height of around 1.7 meters, she is truly a strong woman with a strong work ethic. Hello, Mr. Ding, I am Li Xiuxian. Thank you very much for choosing me. Oh, how do you know I chose you? Mr. Chui just asked us to wait downstairs. No wonder she appeared in the office so quickly. It turned out that Chui Zixian had prepared it in advance. Ding Zimo did not show any dissatisfaction with this matter, he only felt that Chui Zixian was indeed a talented subordinate. Due to identity issues and cultural reasons in South Korea, Li Su Hyun appeared very serious when they first met. After Ding Zimo shook hands with her, he invited her to sit down. After some persuasion, Li Xiuxian finally realized Ding Zimo's sincerity and sat down tightly against the sofa. Relax, I don't have so many demands, there's no need to be so restrained. You should have known me before. I used to be a trainee and I don't want to give up my career. In the future, you can follow me, answer some calls for me, and summarize some work for me. After Ding Zimo sat down, he clearly told her about Li Xiuxian's future work. Upon hearing such a job, Li Xiuxian breathed a sigh of relief. There was no need to sleep for the boss, and the job responsibilities seemed quite relaxed at the moment. She felt an indescribable joy. She is a newcomer in the workplace who has just graduated a year ago. Being recognized by Ding Zimo can truly be said to have met a benefactor. The two of them had a smooth conversation because it was both Ding Zimo talking, and Li Xiuxian nodded incessantly like a good baby. Only when Ding Zimo asked for her opinion would she briefly say a few words. Ding Zimo could also see that Li Xiuxian was too nervous. Fortunately, it wasn't a real person interview just now. Otherwise, with her courage, she wouldn't have been the first to win, but she would never have walked to the end. Of course, she had already chosen it. Ding Zimo did not want to make any further changes, but only hoped that she would gradually get better in her future interactions, otherwise communication would really be a problem. Am I so scary? You. You're not scary, Ding Zimo was speechless, saying that he was not afraid, but his voice trembled. Li Xiuxian saw Ding Zimo's silence and thought he was disappointed in him. He quickly stuttered and promised, Can you please don't fire me? I'm just a little nervous and it won't affect my work. Li Xiuxian's family is not wealthy, and it is not easy for them to provide for her to graduate from university. Her parents separated when she was very young, and she was raised by her mother. 
In addition to her, there is also a slightly dementia brother at home, and she needs this job very much. Looking at Li Xuxian, who was about to cry, Ding Zimo quickly said, I didn't say I didn't want you. Don't cry. You go down and sign a contract with Mr. Chui. From now on, you will be my life secretary. Remember to come to work early tomorrow and take a break today to celebrate finding a new job. Looking at the girl who was dumbfounded and unresponsive, Ding Zimo said again, Go quickly, otherwise I will go back on my word. Upon hearing Ding Zimo's words, Li Xuxian quickly bowed to him, feeling that she had truly met a noble person. Ding Zimo quickly helped her up and said, You go quickly. Li Xuxian left Ding Zimo's office in gratitude and went downstairs to sign a contract. He can officially start work tomorrow. Although Li Xuxian graduated from Seoul University, as she is a newcomer to the workforce, her salary is not high, less than 1.8 million Korean won, which is less than 10,000 yuan. 10,000 yuan is already a lot in China, but in South Korea, a high-consumption developed country, her salary is not high. This job application was successful, and her salary doubled to 4 million Korean won, equivalent to over 20,000 renminbi, which is already considered a mid to high end in South Korea. After bidding farewell to Ding Zimo, Li Xuxian successfully signed the contract downstairs. After signing the contract, Li Xuxian bounced out of the company door. She couldn't wait to share this good news with her mother now. She should be very happy to hear it, so she shouldn't have to work so hard anymore and have extra money to buy a new clothes. After seeing off Li Xuxian, Ding Zimo was idle again. He began to think about the next path, and ultimately decided that he still wanted to become a celebrity and complete the regrets of his previous life. After figuring out this matter, Ding Zimo began to think about how to make his debut. Forming a group would definitely not work. He is now the behind-the-scenes boss of SM, and he cannot afford to lose too much. Based on his past life memories, he decided to debut alone, with the support of SM Company in the songs stored in his mind, making it difficult for him to achieve success. He definitely can't sing songs that have been released by others, so he can only look for songs from 2008 onwards. And because he is located in Korea, Korean songs should be his first choice. Ding Zimo began to search for Korean songs in his mind that matched the situation. Although Ding Zimo did not embark on the path of music in his previous life, and even indulged himself in it later on, his love for music did not diminish. He paid attention to China, Japan, South Korea, and some beautiful English songs. Thanks to his good memory, he can fully memorize many songs by simply following them a few times. Chapter 8 Accidentally Becoming a Boss You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ding Zimo was searching for songs that met the criteria in his mind when the phone on the desk rang, interrupting his thoughts. Helpless, Ding Zimo could only answer the phone, and Li Xiuman's voice came from the other end. Mr. Ding, there will be an internal dinner in the industry tonight, and many senior executives will attend. Do you need to attend? Ding Zimo didn't originally want to go, but it is also necessary to broaden his horizons and broaden his horizons. Ding Zimo has never attended such a gathering before. The biggest gathering he has attended so far is probably a high school classmate gathering, where a group of so dot called successful people showcase their achievements in front of a few beautiful girls in the class. Upon hearing Ding Zimo's agreement, Li Xiuman breathed a sigh of relief. Li Zimo is now the big boss of SM, and many of the people gathered today have heard about the changes in SM's equity. Many people want to meet the mysterious Ding Zimo, who was so generous in his acquisition of SM's equity that many loyal people chose to go against him. The dinner is scheduled to start at 8 p.m. Ding Zimo, dressed in a wine red custom dot made suit, and Li Shimon are sitting in the back row of Mercedes Maybach on their way to the gathering place. The Seoul Silla Hotel the Silla Hotel is located in the heart of Seoul, in a prime location and is a five-dot-star hotel under the Samsung Group. 
The Silla Hotel has not only been praised by world.renowned tourism publications as the most luxurious hotel in South Korea, but also a preferred place for people from all walks of life to stay in Seoul. Even domestic leaders who go to South Korea only stay at this hotel. Choosing the Silla Hotel for this gathering is enough to prove that its level is not low. Lee Shuman was already ready. When they got off the car, two tall women in high dot end dresses followed Maybach from a Mercedes Benz. They were none other than members of a women's group from SM Company. The two of them obediently greeted Ding Zimo and Lee Shuman. These two are Lee Shuman's temporary companions preparing for the dinner party, and Ding Zimo did not show any expression. This world is like this, where wealthy and powerful people always enjoy more material resources, including beautiful women. Mr. Ding, take a look at which of them is more suitable as your evening companion. Li Shuman's wrinkled face smiled like a chrysanthemum, almost engraving the words, flattery, on her face. Both beautiful women had high looks. Ding Zimo chose the actress with a taller figure on the left, and the other one was naturally Li Shuman's. As he watched the beautiful woman naturally hold Li Shuman's arm, Ding Zimo cursed in his heart, I'm really old, I don't know if this old guy still has this ability. I cursed wildly in my heart, but on my face, Ding Zimo's smile was very bright. No matter who came, I couldn't see Ding Zimo's fake smile. The beauty chosen by Ding Zimo was secretly pleased, not only because Ding Zimo was stronger than the old man Li Shuman, but also because Ding Zimo's current identity is unusual. He is his big boss, and if he can perform well at the dinner party, he will have a huge amount of resources. It would be best if he can climb onto Ding Zimo's bed. Such a handsome and wealthy little brother, even if he is prostituted for free, she will not be at a disadvantage. Ding Zimo didn't know his girlfriend's thoughts. If she knew, he would definitely tell her clearly that he had thought too much. Not only in terms of temperament, but also in terms of appearance, she cannot meet Ding Zimo's requirements. Ding Zimo followed Li Shuman into the banquet hall, which was a huge room where many people were already drinking and chatting. Some waiters pushed plates through the crowd. The entry of Ding Zimo and Li Shuman attracted the attention of many people in the hall. Although there were many people in the hall, there were not many with enough weight. As one of the three major entertainment companies in South Korea, SM Century naturally attracted a lot of attention. Most of the attendees were artists, agents, directors, songwriters, and some executives from entertainment companies. Lee Shuman led Ding Zimo into the banquet hall, and the people around him who were originally talking to each other raised their glasses and toasted. Ding Zimo and Lee Shuman refused to come, but each time they only took a small sip, and the person who toasted didn't think there was any problem. They would all look respectful. In no time, Ding Zimo had already received numerous business cards. Fortunately, he had a female companion to help him hold them, and at that moment, the little sister had completely become a tool. Shortly after the arrival of Ding Zimo and Lee Shuman, the truly powerful figures in the Korean entertainment industry began to enter, along with Yang Xianchur and JYP Park Chun-ing from YG, the three major entertainment companies in South Korea. The attendance of the two pushed the popularity of this evening party to its peak. Lee Shuman, Yang Xianchur, and Park Chun-ing are among the same group of artists, and they all have great vision in creating their own companies, which have now developed into the three major entertainment companies in South Korea. According to statistics, the three major entertainment companies account for over 70% of South Korea's entertainment industry and have become the main force in South Korea's soft power and cultural exports. As a reincarnated figure, Ding Zimo couldn't have known the influence of the Korean wave. If it weren't for the anti-Korean pioneers like Zhou Dong, the domestic entertainment industry would probably have shrunk by more than half under the impact of the Korean wave. The entertainment industry in South Korea is indeed more developed than other countries in East Asia, and their development is based on national support. Therefore, once culture invades other countries in East Asia, it forms a dimensionality reduction blow. Although the three major entertainment companies in South Korea are in a competitive state, Lee Shuman, 
On Xianchu, and Park Xinying did not show any signs of tension when they met. On the contrary, it is peaceful, and as for what happens privately, Ding Zimo has not yet figured it out. Li Xiumen introduced Ding Zimo to everyone and said, This is Mr. Ding Zimo, the largest shareholder of our SM. Park Xinying looked at Ding Zimo, who was straight and handsome in his suit, as if he had seen his young self. Indeed, the Yangtze River is pushing waves and waves, and now it's the world of young people. We're all old now, he said Ding Zimo picked up the red wine in his hand and took the initiative to clink a glass with the three of them. I'm just standing on the shoulders of my predecessors to see the world, he said, in the future, there are still many questions that I don't understand that I need to consult with all the seniors. I hope all the seniors can spare no effort in teaching me. Although everyone knows that what Ding Zimo said is empty talk, it is also something they are willing to listen to. At least in terms of face, Ding Zimo respects these elderly people. A few people pushed cups and changed cups, during which not only Park Chunying and Yang Xianxia were beating around the bush to inquire about Ding Zimo's background, but even Li Shiman, an old fox, was no exception, wanting to explore Ding Zimo's reality. Just let what they say be extravagant, Ding Zimo will be honest. As for whether they believe each other, it's not something he should consider. Although no one had figured out anything, Ding Zimo saw many celebrities he had never seen in his past life. These celebrities were cautious when toasting him, afraid of saying the wrong thing and making him unhappy. This is the change brought about by the change in identity and status. If Ding Zimo had been toasted, he wouldn't have been able to enter the door of this hall. Chapter 9 Threats from the Rich Second Generation you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. At the party, everyone exchanged glasses, some reached a certain cooperation, some made friends, but Ding Zimo was not interested in all of this. He was too lazy to compromise with his three old friends, and after drinking a few more glasses, he left first, citing his physical discomfort. At around 9 p.m., just as Ding Zimo was preparing to take a shower and sleep, his phone rang. It turned out to be a call from Song Huichiao, did you miss me when you called so late? Before Ding Zimo could finish speaking, Song Huichiao's panicked voice came over the phone. Come and save me, there's a group of people outside who are forcing me to drink. I'm hiding in the restroom now. Upon hearing these words, Ding Zimo immediately realized the seriousness of the matter and asked, tell me your location, I will go pick you up immediately. Don't hang up on the phone yet. Song Huichiao immediately informed Ding Zimo of the location. After Ding Zimo learned the location, he put on his clothes and made a phone call. Hello, I'm Ding Zimo. You should immediately summon the company security to the location I sent you and wait for me. Ding Zimo called Chui Zixian. Chui Zixian, who received the call, did not ask for the reason behind the matter. She could hear the urgency of the situation from Ding Zimo's tone, and immediately summoned security to the location posted by Ding Zimo for standby. Maybach stopped steadily at the entrance of the Blue Sky Hotel, and Ding Zimo pushed the door down. Dozens of uniformed security personnel were already queuing up at the entrance of the Blue Sky Hotel. Just as Ding Zimo got off the car, Chui Zixian, dressed in a black windbreaker, welcomed him. Mr. Ding, the security team has assembled. Do you have any instructions? You have them stand by and listen to my call later. After speaking, Ding Zimo walked towards the Blue Sky Hotel. At this point, the situation outside has already caught the attention of the security department of the Blue Sky Hotel. There are more than 30 burly men outside, and there are only 10 of them. They can only hope that the other party can maintain restraint, Otherwise they will have to report to the police, which will inevitably affect the reputation of the hotel. The hotel management department also saw that Ding Zimo was the leader, so when Ding Zimo walked into the hotel, they politely asked him what his needs were, and they would try their best to meet them. Ding Zimo didn't expect the Blue Sky Hotel to be so witty. He told the other party the room number of Song Huichiao, and the group of them walked towards the private room. Before entering the private room, 
the explosive music inside was transmitted to Ding Zimo's ears through the soundproof door, and Ding Zimo was the first to push the door in. In the chaotic room at this moment, besides a few well-dot-dressed and refined scumbags, there were also a few women who looked familiar to each other. They were probably not well-dot-known female artists from a certain company. Ding Zimo didn't care about them, but went to the bathroom and knocked on the door. Dong Dong Dong, I'm not feeling well, I'll come out later. Song Huiqiao was unaware of the situation outside, thinking it was those scumbags and knocking on the door. Open the door, it's me, Ding Zimo exclaimed. Upon hearing Ding Zimo's voice, Song Huiqiao carefully opened the door through a gap. When she saw that the person outside was Ding Zimo, she opened the entire door and jumped onto Ding Zimo with just one jump. Obama, you really came to save me, if something happens to you, how can I not come? All right, let's go first. We'll talk about it later. Just as Ding Zimo was about to pull Song Hui Chiao out of the private room, a well-dressed and well-skinned man who looked like a second-dot-generation wealthy man spoke up and stopped them. What's up? Do you have anything else to do? Ding Zimo asked. You can leave, she'll stay, said Fu Er Dai, pointing to Song Hui Chiao. Oh, what if she doesn't stay? Ding Zimo asked with a smile. Humph, she's an artist from my father's company. If she dares to step out of this door today, I dare to let my father hide her, threatened the wealthy second dot generation. Song Hui Chiao is currently at UAA agency and waited for 19 years to sign with Wang Jiwei's company in mainland China. Ding Zimo did not take the threat of the wealthy second dot generation seriously. As a major shareholder of SM, he is still afraid of the threat from a small company, the wealthy second dot generation. Coincidentally, he has the idea of inviting Song Hai Kyo to join SM. This not only enhances Song Hai Kyo's popularity again, but also makes a steady profit for SM company. Ding Zimo couldn't feel the threat of the wealthy second dot generation, but Song Hui Chiao hesitated a bit. She was really afraid of being hidden in the snow. The villa she and Ding Zimo went to was still bought by her with a loan. If there was no source of income, she would not only be bankrupt, but also likely carry huge debts. Ding Zimo noticed Song Hui Chiao's hesitation and pulled her waist. Don't be afraid, there's me, he said although Song Hui Chiao did not know Ding Zimo's confidence, she still believed in him. Ding Zimo hugged Song Hui Chiao and walked out of the door, while the wealthy second dot generation behind him could only be powerless and furious, clamoring to hide Song Hui Chiao and make her regret her choice today. Ding Zimo had no feelings for his clamor, even Song Hai Kyo ignored it. Although she hesitated a bit earlier, once she made a choice, she would not regret it. South Korea is also a country deeply influenced by Confucian culture, and they also pay attention to getting married as the chicken as the dog. At this time, Song Hui Chiao was like this. Although she had not married Ding Zimo or even had no official announcement about being together, she would consider Ding Zimo when she decided to be with him. To put it bluntly, Song Hui Chiao has a bit of a romantic brain. As long as she identifies with someone, she will treat them with care. After leaving the hotel gate, more than 30 security guards stood in front of the hotel door in a daze. Chui Zixian saw Ding Zimo appear and immediately ran to him. There's nothing else to do tonight. You can let everyone go and help me treat everyone to dinner later. There's no limit tonight, and I'll go to the company tomorrow for reimbursement. When Chui Zixian conveyed Ding Zimo's words to the security team, the entire security team cheered, Long live Mr. Ding, Ding Zimo smiled and led Song Hui Chiao onto Maybach. Song Hui Chiao is a bit confused at this moment. Isn't Ding Zimo a trainee? What's going on now? She doesn't believe that a company trainee can mobilize so many people, and from their attire, it can be seen that they are all from the SM security team, one of the three major entertainment companies in South Korea. Ding Zimo did not answer her doubts. Ding Zimo instructed the driver to drive towards the SM headquarters building. With the skilled operation of the driver, 
Maybach quickly arrived at the company building smoothly. Ding Zimo led Song Huiqiao into the building and took a dedicated elevator directly to the top floor. Song Huiqiao watched Ding Zimo's actions and was so shocked that she couldn't speak. She thought she had met a lowly trainee, but today's incident overturned her understanding. Ding Zimo is indeed a trainee, but he is not an ordinary trainee. Chapter 10 Ding Zimo's Success You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ding Zimo leads Song Huiqiao back to the top of the building and stands in front of the huge French window. The night view of the whole Jiangnan district is seen. Do you have anything you want to ask? You can ask now. I want to know everything, how can you? I don't know if you have heard any news that the mysterious person has acquired 60% of SM's shares. Is that person you? Ding Zimo nodded without hesitation. Song Huiqiao was in shock. She didn't expect Ding Zimo to have such a status. She was already prepared to live a difficult life with Ding Zimo. Unexpectedly, she picked up a young wealthy man herself. When it comes to Song Huiqiao's emotions at this moment, there may be many, from the fear when Ding Zimo did not appear at the hotel, to the joy and hesitation when Ding Zimo appeared, and now the shock after knowing Ding Zimo's identity. She felt like her experience tonight was like a dream, after all, dreams could not be so outrageous. Perhaps only those domineering executive dramas she starred in would have scenes like a prince falling in love with Cinderella. Although Ding Zimo attended the banquet tonight, he didn't eat much, while Song Huiqiao didn't eat much due to being scared. After some fuss, both of them felt a bit hungry. Ding Zimo opened his phone and sent a text message to Chui Zixian. Fortunately, Li Xiuxian will take office tomorrow. Otherwise, it would be a bit of a waste of talent to always have general manager Chui Zixian handle some trivial matters. Chui Zixian brought the food up and saw Song Huiqiao next to Ding Zimo. She was somewhat surprised, but her face did not show it. She never expected that Ding Zimo would silently take down Song Hai Kyo, who was all red and purple in Korea. She still quite admires Ding Zimo. Not only his appearance and economic strength, but also his ability to win the most famous rose in the South Korean entertainment industry, Song Hai Kyo. She has to admire him. In South Korea, Song Hai Kyo's stunning name is already well dot known, and there are countless people who are infatuated with her. A variety show once conducted a survey, randomly selecting 100 people for the survey, and the survey found that 80% of people like Song Hai Kyo. What's even more puzzling is that Song Hai Kyo is more popular among girls than boys. If you have visited this peculiar country like South Korea, you will find that the streets are filled with Song Hai Kyo of various shapes. South Korean cosmetic surgery can be considered a masterpiece. Both of them did not hide, just like an ordinary couple, showing their affection in front of Chui Zixian. Perhaps Ding Zimo's conscience couldn't bear it, he finally remembered Chui Zixian and asked her to go back and rest. How long does your contract with UAA last? It's about to expire, it's almost expiring. How dare that wealthy second that generation in your company be so arrogant? Aren't he afraid that you won't renew the contract? UAA is not a big entertainment company, with only a few people inside, and Song Huiqiao is undoubtedly one of the pillars. But it is such a pillar that it is not cherished. It is estimated that the UAA boss would be extremely angry if he knew his son was so promiscuous. The popularity of a small company in UAA is solely supported by Song Hai Kyo. UAA bosses usually give Song Hai Kyo three points of face, but it's surprising that his son dares to do so. It's true that his strength is deceiving his father. After seeing Ding Zimo's identity and status, Song Huiqiao had no worries at all. Now, when asked to expose her love, she didn't hesitate at all. Although she had a short contact with Ding Zimo, she felt like she had found her life partner. After finishing a meal, Song Huiqiao was arguing for a drink again, and Ding Zimo could only take out a bottle of top dot quality red wine from the bar in the leisure area. Although Ding Zimo is a bit afraid of drinking with Song Huiqiao, 
he cannot be looked down upon by Song Huiqiao. Struggling, Ding Zimo accompanied Song Huiqiao to finish a bottle of red wine. Lying in bed, Ding Zimo felt his body like a hot iron block. He moved left and right, and finally found a cool spot. Smooth and tender skin, with a slightly lower body temperature, Ding Zimo pressed his body against it, feeling that the temperature was just right, but a small flame in his heart was ignited. Song Huiqiao felt Ding Zimo's movements and heard his rough breathing. She didn't back down this time, but instead welcomed him. The next day at dawn, Ding Zimo opened his eyes and saw Song Huiqiao, who was still asleep beside him. His heart was quiet, and this should be the life he wanted. When Ding Zimo lifted the blanket and prepared to wash up, he found a bright red plum blossom on the bedsheet. He really didn't expect Song Hai Kyo to be his first time, not only because of her scandals, but also because Song Hai Kyo is 26 years old this year, he feels a bit unbelievable. Ding Zimo's movements woke Song Hui Chiao up. She saw Ding Zimo staring blankly at the blanket. She followed Ding Zimo's gaze and saw that it was the bright red. Song Hui Chiao's mouth curved and she said, Didn't you expect it? This is still my first time. Ding Zimo answered honestly, I really didn't expect that you had a rumored romantic relationship, didn't you? You also said it's a rumor, some are for hype, and some are maliciously smeared by competitors. It turns out that if it weren't for first-hand experience, Ding Zimo wouldn't have known that everything was fake. Song Huiqiao is still a big yellow flower girl. Ding Zimo showed even more affection for Song Huiqiao. Men are like this, and there is no man who doesn't care about a girl's first time. Those who don't care are just suppressing their inner voice. Ding Zimo knows that it is really difficult to maintain purity in the entertainment industry, especially for national goddesses like Song Hai Kyo, who have to pay a greater price and keep themselves clean. Song Hui Chiao also felt a slight difference in Ding Zimo. She was very happy that she had withstood the temptation of the entertainment industry. She was happy that she had always been clean and self-disciplined, and that this kind of self was the most perfect. When she met Ding Zimo, even if she was a few years older than him, she felt that she was worthy of him. She gave her most precious things to the person she loved the most, and she only hoped that Ding Zimo would treat her well in the future. The two of them hugged each other on the big bed for a long time, and a ray of sunlight shone on Ding Zimo's face. The early spring sunshine warmed their bodies, making them extremely comfortable. Song Hui Chiao, who was held by Ding Zimo, suddenly felt a slight movement in Ding Zimo. As a newcomer to the world, she knew what it was and quickly separated from him. Last night was too crazy, and she hasn't stopped the pain yet. She dare not be ravaged again, otherwise her body will not be able to hold on. Of course, Ding Zimo didn't take any further action. He knew about Song Hui Chiao's body, and last night for the first time, he was still in a drunken state. He can only endure this and cannot disregard Song Hui Chiao's feelings for his own selfish desires. He likes Song Hui Chiao from the bottom of his heart.